Hey, Ashley, all things history.com. So we're just about to perform a crown lengthening surgery. And one of the things I was thinking about was the techniques that I've been shown. There's a few, there's a number of them, but a couple easy techniques to, to determine how much attached gingiva you have. One of them is called the roll technique. So what we're doing is we're just rolling. That's okay. The buccal mucosa, we're just trying to roll the non-keratinized mucosa. And, you, and it's sort of, you can see the delineation between where the attached gingiva and the uh, non-attached gingiva is. I mean, you can easily see in this case, but sometimes it's difficult. Another one, one method you can do is take some iodine and just place it on a cotton tip applicator. And what that will do is it will stain the glycogen in the non-keratinized tissue. So you'll actually see a brown, um, a browning of the non-keratinized tissue and the keratinized tissue won't be. Now, why is it important to see how much attached gingiva we have? Well, in this, we're going to be performing a crown lengthening procedure. The literature is sort of all over the place with regards to how much attached gingiva you really need, especially in the premolar region. Uh, some lit shows that you don't need any. But we are doing a fixed restoration on this, on this first premolar, so we probably want to have some attached gingiva. So we're going, in our initial incisions, we're going to remove approximately a collar of one millimeter of attached gingiva, and that still allows us to have two to three, two to three millimeters of attached uh, after that uh, gingivectomy. Anyways, food for thought. Cheers.